There are two ways to install WordPress, using an automatic application installer, or you can upload the installation files and configure WordPress yourself. This is more involved than the auto installers, but it is still reasonably easy. The problem with the auto installers is that different hosting companies use different installers. Some even make their own, so it's very hard to make a tutorial for every hosting company as many of them are different. Manually installing WordPress is still easy and this will work on any hosting account. The first thing we need to do is get the latest version of WordPress from wordpress.org. I'll leave a link to that below this video. From the WordPress website, select Get WordPress. This will show us the latest version of WordPress and give us a download link. So download WordPress. Now we need to upload this to our website and extract these zipped installation files. You can do this in whatever way you would usually upload files. Since cPanel is the most common website control panel, I'll show you how to do this using cPanel. Go to yoursite.com forward slash cPanel. This address will only work if your hosting account actually uses cPanel, of course. Now log into cPanel. If you don't know what your login details are, you will need to contact your hosting company and have those reset. In the quick search up the top, I will search for File Manager. This will filter the list, and I can just select File Manager. The public underscore HTML folder here, this is responsible for everything that is shown on your website. So this is where we want to upload WordPress. If you already have a website running, then there is probably more files here than this. I'm with a new hosting account, so I only have a few. Make sure the public underscore HTML folder is showing here as the Active Directory, and now select Upload from the top menu. Select File, and now find the WordPress file that we downloaded. This is often in the Downloads folder. So select that and Upload. Once the upload completes, we can click this Go Back link here. Now, if you don't see the WordPress file that we just uploaded, you can refresh this by clicking the Reload button and you should see it. Here's the file we uploaded. I'm going to select it and then click Extract. I'll leave this as public underscore HTML and Extract Files. Done. So this extracted all the files into this folder called WordPress. If I left it like this, then my WordPress website would be accessed by going to mysite.com forward slash WordPress. I want this to be directly on mysite.com, so I'll open this folder. I'll press select all, and now I'll move these. I want to move these directly to the public underscore HTML folder. With those all moved, I can click here to go back. Now since we moved all those files, this WordPress folder here should now be empty, so I'll delete this. I can also delete that zipped file we uploaded. That's all we need to do in the file manager, but there's one more thing that we have to do in cPanel, which is to create a MySQL database for WordPress. A MySQL database is like a notebook that WordPress will use to write things down and keep track of important information. So I'll close File Manager, and now back in cPanel, I'll use the quick search again, and this time I'll type in MySQL, and I'll select this MySQL database wizard. Step one is to enter a database name. You can enter whatever you like. The name of your database will be what's here. So mine is TWT Tutor underscore, and then what I type in. So I'll go with WP, since this is for WordPress. And now next step. Now we need to create a user that has access to this new database. You won't be using these details yourself. This user will be for WordPress to access the database. So for the username, I like to enter the same as what I did for the database name. So I'll enter WP again here. That way it's easy for me to know which user accesses which database. With the password, I recommend just using the generator. WordPress will store this. You'll never have to type this in yourself and the generator will make a strong password. Right click and copy the password so that we can paste it into the WordPress installation wizard. Now check this box, use password and create user. We want WordPress to have access to everything, 
So select all privileges and next step. Okay, so our MySQL database for WordPress is now created. Take note of the database username and database name. And we have copied the password. Now if I load my website, so straight to mysite.com, I should see the WordPress installation wizard, and we do. Select dual language and continue. This basically says that we need to create a database, which we already have, so let's go. Enter the database name. Remember this had your cPanel username underscore at the start. My username was the same as the database name, so I'll enter that again. Now the password. We copied this, so remove the password text, right click and paste. Leave the database host as local host. And you can leave the table prefix as is, but I like to change it from the default, so I'll change this to WP13 underscore. This doesn't have any real effect, it's basically just used as an identifier for WordPress. Now we can submit this and run the installation. So the site title is the name of your website. You can change this later, so don't worry too much about getting it wrong. The username will be for the admin login. I'll use my name. I prefer not to use admin. If someone tries to hack your website, the admin username will be the first thing that they try. Since you will be using this password often, you might want to try and create your own so that you can remember it more easily. But do try to make sure that it's strong. Enter in your email address. Since this is a new website, you might be spending a lot of time on it before it's ready for visitors. So I suggest clicking or checking this box to discourage search engines. This will stop search engines like Google showing your website in the search results. This is easy to disable later when we are ready for visitors. And now install WordPress. Success, WordPress is now installed. You can click this login to WordPress or at any time you can go to yoursite.com forward slash WP dash admin, which will load the WordPress login page as well. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. To keep me motivated to make more free tutorials, please subscribe, like the video and leave a friendly comment. And if you didn't like this video, no problem. Smash that dislike button twice even and let me know everything I did wrong in the comments. For more tutorials with WordPress and other website tutorials, check out thewebsiteteacher.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.